Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say Kahala Yehawa, Wa Yehawa Shai, Bahashim Mukhaq Kadash. Um, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Um, today, I want to talk about, uh, you know, um, uh, how big our resp our responsibility as disciples of Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, the, I think, like, in this society, that's definitely overlooked, the responsibility of being a disciple, of being a, a disciple. So, in other words, a student of Yahweh Shai, you know, a follower of Yahweh Shai, a servant of Yahweh Shai. It's, it's a huge responsibility, man. A huge, 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 huge responsibility. You know, we, we're talking about a nation that is countless, so it doesn't really, you can't count Israel. Okay, a countless nation, their salvation, first and foremost, you know, rests on, upon the shoulders of Yahweh Shai, and then that trickles down to the apostles and his, his disciples, the elect. The 144,000, the men that are doing this work in truth and sincerity. That's a huge responsibility, man. That's a huge responsibility. And and that's why this is no joke. It's a very serious thing that, you know, you get yourself into, man. When you come into this truth, you're getting, to your, you're getting yourself into something very, very serious. It's like a gang, man. It really is a gang. It's like, a mof it's like, a, it's like the mafia, you know, blood in, blood out. You know, so if you, you, you come into this truth, you know, there's no out. There's no way out. The only way out is death. You know, that's how serious this is. Because even if you follow the truth, well, that's a missile for your ass, you know, because you follow the truth. That's why the scriptures say you were better off never coming into the truth and to fall out than to come in. Than to come, or the better not, uh, you're better off never coming into his truth than to come in and fall out, right? So, um, uh, I'm gonna read Ezekiel, the Ezekiel thir the 33rd chapter, and I'll read to 20. So it says, Ezekiel 33 and one. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man. Speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, not the children of the world, but the children of thy people, of Ezekiel's people. And Ezekiel was an Israelite. Okay? Unto them, when I bring the world, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their for set him for their watchman if slacky let me read that verse again slacky son of man speak to the children of thy people and say unto them when i bring the sword upon a land if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman if when he seeth the sword come upon the land he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heard the sound of the trumpet and taketh, and, and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. And that's true because we're the watchmen for Israel, man. You know? Um, and really... Like, really just Israel, but we, we do it for the rest of the world as well. You know, the other nations too. But it's, it's the salvation of, 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 our, of our message is for Israel. And we're the watchmen, you know. Us men that are in this truth, you know, and have it, the complete and true understanding of the Bible, we're the watchmen for our people. As long as we're out there doing the work consistently and in truth and in sincerity as long and as well as um these videos you know whatever happens to them their blood won't be on our hands because we told the truth and we warned them as we should hence the title of being watchmen but you got pastors and other and other so-called israelite leaders okay 
I say so-called because they're not real Israelite leaders, okay? Nate Satan thinks he's an Israelite leader, and he isn't. Um, these guys are not preparing the flock. They're not, they're, not, they're not doing their jobs as watchmen. And guess what? Anybody within their congregation that dies, their blood is going to be on their hands. Because even for Nate's sake, Nate knew the truth, the, the complete and full truth at one point. You know, it's not like he was never given the truth. And if you were never given the truth, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't set yourself up to be a watchman in the first place then. Because you don't have the truth. So what can you watch for and warn? But these people, these are people, you know, want, want, uh, lust after money so bad and the, and the carnal things of this society that they'll do anything to 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 get it even if it means you know being dishonorable and um and compromising their own their own people for their own sakes because first of all they're not giving people the, they're not giving people the truth because they don't know it okay and then on top of that they're selling the truth you got people selling the truth right so all those all those souls are gonna be are gonna be on their hands, man. Uh, verse five it says, "He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning; his blood shall be upon him." Right? If we if we the trumpet is this truth, is this is the under is the complete true understanding. Of the scriptures in the name of Yahweh, Bashem Shai. You know, we first heard the trumpet from the apostles and the elders. And when we heard that trumpet, we took heed. Those of us that were sincere, we took heed and took took heed of that warning and prepared ourselves and are currently still preparing ourselves. Just like it's the same thing as the parable of the five foolish uh, virgins and the five wise virgins it's the same parable same idea it says but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul these people are not taking warning of what we're saying man so their souls are not going to be delivered they're going to have to be destroyed first then they'll come into the kingdom in their right mind but for us you know, we're we're taking we we are um, uh, uh, we're taking warning, okay, and we're preparing ourselves. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, okay, um, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. That's right. Right? Because the sword is, is, is parabolic for the destruction that's to come. That's to befall in the society. You know? Through the way of martial law in Jacob's trouble, famine, pestilence, you know, sickness. And not to mention the uh, the nuclear missiles, ICBM missiles, right? You got Yahweh Shai. He's a part of that sword too. That's to come. Heck, he's the main part of the sword. Yahweh Shai. Then you got the chariots. The chariots are to come rain down hell too. And then you got the elect and the angels. They're going to be getting busy as well. It's going to be complete and other chaos. You know? And we know all this. Right? So it's our duty, our responsibility to make sure that any opportunity given outside of being out there on the highways and byways and outside of you doing the work or you uh, making videos, that you're still warning your people. You're still warning the people, man. You know? You don't have to... You don't have to be on the highways and byways to be like, oh, well, I'm not... I'm not actually on the highways and byways right now, so I can't, you know, I can't break this down to you, brother. Sorry. 
oh, I'm not uh, making a video right now. Oh, you're just going to have to wait till I make a video for you to get the break the breakdown of that. No, nah, man. You need to be ready. You need to be ready to uh, be apt to teach at every, at any moment and every moment, man. This is your life. You know, even if you don't have your, your sword with you at all times, you still have your phone. You know, so there's no excuse. There's no excuse, man. But these pastors and these so-called Israelite leaders, other Israelite leaders, they they have a they have a they have a they have a schedule, man. You know? Nah, brother, if you want to break down a revelation in Genesis, you need to you need to cough cough uh cough up $25.99. And, and guess what, brother? That's that's fifty percent off. I usually charge fifty bucks. What kind of madness and wickedness is that? There's a sword coming, and you're charging people for the warning. That's wickedness, man. And the Most High is gonna, man. The Most High is gonna get busy with people like that, man. He's gonna get real busy with people like that because that's wickedness. Here, here you are, given immense amount of insight on what's to come. The, the 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 great destruction that's to come befall your people and you're charging them to get to, 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 to get to get that warning when it's your job to warn them you know freely give as you you freely received roughly paraphrasing and then it goes on to say um Verse 7, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and the warn and, and warn them of me, from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou doest not speak to the to warn the wicked. From his ways, thou wicked, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. That's scary, man. This is a big responsibility. Most High is going to require his blood at your hand because you knew better. You were given the talent. You were given the scriptures. You were given the truth, the insight. Use it. What's the point of the Most High giving us insight like that and us keeping our mouth shut? Makes no sense. It's counterintuitive, really counterproductive. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from it, from his ways, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. <laughs> Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, you have a power. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of my people, of thy people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgressions. That's right. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turn from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. You know, so basically, when you, if you're a righteous man and you're doing righteous things, the moment you sin, you know, you your righteousness, the righteous deeds that you did prior to, don't still don't uh, don't make up for your sin. That's not how it works. The scriptures say when you break one law, 
If you're if you're guilty of breaking if you break one law, you're guilty of breaking all of them. You know? The only thing that saves a man from 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 his own wickedness is turning away from it, is repenting, which is what which is what repenting means. It means to turn back. Okay? Turn away from your wickedness. Right? But when a wicked man does that, he is now righteous. But when a righteous man turns into wickedness, He's wicked until he turns away from it. You know? When I, when I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, he shall li surely live. He shall, slack, I read that one more time. When I say to the righteousness, to the righteous, that he shall surely live. If he trust in, if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for the, his iniquity that he hath committed, he shall die for it. That's exactly what I just said. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right, if the wicked restore the plague, the, the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walked in the... Uh, if the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he... Give again, again that he had robbed, walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Man, that is beautiful and, and uplifting, okay? That is grace beyond grace. All you need to do is turn away from your wickedness and your and and your in your righteous man in the eyes of the Most High. Is that simple? Is that simple? There's no in between where uh, you're still kind of wicked. Uh, you, you know, it's no. If you if you declare to stop being wicked, like we did when we came to this truth, okay? When the Most High present, presented this truth to us, we made an oath that we'll stop. We'll stop to the best of our abilities. Stop being wicked to the best of our abilities. You know? And when you say that, you're basically saying no matter what happens, no matter what I'm going to, no matter what I do, righteous nor wicked, I am sincere and honest about it. That's what it comes down to, sincerity and honest, and honesty. You know, and that's, you, you, you can't be no other, you can't be anything else outside of those two things when you have a responsibility as big or as grave as this, being a watchman of, of a nation, man, a whole nation, you know? Um, verse 17, Yet the children of thy people say, The way of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is not equal, but as for them, their ways is not equal. When the righteous... Turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby. So I can read that one more time. When the righteousness turneth turneth from his righteous, when the righteous turneth from his righteousness and commit iniquity, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet ye say the way of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his, his ways. That's right, man, because, you know, you'll, you know, sometimes in the spirit, man, you, you know, you get a little bit, you know, you, you get a little bit emotional and you're like, yo, fuck these devils, man. Pardon my French, but for real, like, Fuck these devils. Why do they get why do they have a good life? You know, and 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 and, and you and, and sometimes a thought in your mind might creep like this is not man, it's fucking not fair. But you have to remember 
You have to do away with those thoughts and those emotions and remember that the Most High is just. And remember, and remember that in the end of the day, everybody is going to have to face the consequences of their actions. As to when and how they have to, as to when, that's, that's in the Most High's hand. That has nothing to do with us. But they will face their judgment, right? So we just need to focus on our responsibility and, and, and keep pushing this truth and, and keep, and keep um, warning our people. Keep warning the people, man. Keep being watchmen. That's it. So anyways, with that, I hope that was edifying. Uh, with that, I'm going to say, Kahala Yahawah, Wa Yahawah Shai, Bahashim Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and the Elsa Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, and death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, two-thirds of Israel, and Esau as well. Shalom.